It's time to start adding some content to your course, finally. So let's go to my sandbox course where there isn't anything in here yet. I set up a unit one. I'm going to add another content area. I'll call it unit two. Make it available to users. Submit it. Now I'm going to add some content to those pages. Notice I am in editing mode. Edit mode is turned on. I click on Unit 1, and here is my Unit 1 pages. I have all of these things I can do in here. I can add items. I can add files. I can add audio, images, video. I can add more pages. I can add learning modules. Learning modules is something I'd like us to take a look at, and later on we'll take a look at lesson plans as well. Let's just start with an item. An item First of all, we have to give that item a name. We'll just call it intro. And I can give it, uh, in this area, the text editor area, I can write down what will show in that introduction. And I'll just make this brief. So I'll click Submit, and if I turn Edit Mode off, I'll see this as my students see it. When they click on Unit 1, this introduction will come up. Now let's add some more to this. We'll turn Edit Mode back on, and this time I'm going to add a learning module. Files are useful, but this is probably something you'll use least of all. If you have a file, you can put a link here, but you probably don't want to use files very often. A learning module can be added. I'll call it module one. I could give that module one a description. and I can submit. And now it looks like this. But I want to put something into Module 1. I'm still in Edit Mode. Edit Mode is turned on. Now I click on Module 1, and now I can add things to Module 1. And I'm going to add an item in Module 1. And in that Module 1, I'm just going to call it Item 1. And now I can add all sorts of things. I can add images, I can add videos, I can add YouTube videos, I can use all of these tools to build my content within this area here. So I'll make this real quick and I'll just say item one content, but keep in mind this could be images, videos, all sorts of things. I'll submit. So now it looks like this. Now I'm going to add an item, another item. I'll call it item 2. And we're going to put more stuff in here. Submit. So now it's starting to build out like this. I turn edit mode off so I can view it as my students see this. In unit 1, there would be an introduction for unit 1. When my students clicked on module 1, they would see two pages with whatever stuff, whatever content I put into them. I'll turn edit mode back on. I have other things I can do. Instead of an item, I might choose a content folder. And I could put a description down here of what is in that content folder. If I click on the folder, now I can add items to that folder, or files if I want to have a folder full of files. I also have Unit 2 here. I could start building out Unit 2 in the same way. All right, let's take a look at something that's been built up a little bit. We'll go to a different course. Here's a Science 8 course. Here in this Science 8 course, it starts it sends us to a home page where there are some different modules set up. This is known as a module page. 
There's announcements here. There's a calendar and so on. The first unit over here was a human biology unit. There was a welcome. If I click on this, it gives me a description of the human biology unit. I can follow my breadcrumbs to go back. And now in module one, I'm going to find information about cells and tissues, human body systems, and so on. I'll click on module one. And these are the pages within module one. This is the content that was built up in the content editor. If I turn edit mode on, and I click on this I click on this arrow here, then I can edit that content in what's called the content editor. This is where I built it, but when I turn edit mode off, and I view it as a student, this is the way it appears in my course. Okay, maybe one more quick thing. Let's go back to our sandbox class. And now let's add a module page. And I'll just call it mod page. And that module page is a different kind of page. I can add class modules. I'm not adding content. I can add an announcement section. I could add a calendar. I could even throw in something for NBC News. And now I've added this to this module page. And the module page looks like this, where the announcements, the calendar, and the NBC no News widget shows up. But I have all sorts of options of things I can add to this module page. I could make this module page the home page of my course, so this is the first thing that, that my students saw when they logged into the course. And I could use this page, I could have a discussion board, I could have wikis, I could really have all sorts of different tools that I could add to this module page. Okay, that's enough for now. We'll give you some time to start adding some content to your course, deciding how you want to lay out your course. Will it be in units, by topic? Will it go week one, week two? That's something you have to decide. It would be a good idea, though, to decide that now. It's always possible to add, always easy, actually, to add class structures later on. But once you have a lot of content in your course, it's not very easy to change the way that you set that up. So plan that out before you start adding a lot of content to your course.